Hi, so I have a thrift haul and we're just gonna get right into it. Um, so the first thing I picked up is this pair of leopard flats and these were $4.99 at um, Salvation Army here in Michigan um, in the Brighton area. So um, these are for personal use. These are for me um, just to wear with jeans and blazer or sweater or whatever. We'll figure it out. I kind of like to treat leopard as like a neutral. Um, next thing is I picked up this really cute wreath um, from the same Salvation Army. All this is from the Salvation Army. Um, and I just thought that this was really cute for spring. This was only, let's see, this was only $3.99. So I thought that was good for four bucks. Um, I also picked up this needlepoint purse and I love needlepoint. Um, I'm a sucker for anything needlepoint. So I just thought that this was precious and I'm also keeping this. Um, for those of you who don't know, I'm a reseller on eBay. My store is called the Bluebird's Nest and I do a lot of selling um, vintage items, household clothing, shoes, bags, kind of just anything. Um, so some of this stuff will be for resale, but some of it I'm keeping. Um, this item up next is for resale. So this is a Chico's like really long um, like caftan almost kind of dress. And this is uh, a size three, um, which is like their extra large size. So kind of like a 14. Um, this was $6.99. And it has this really, let me see if I can, beautiful rhinestone detail on it, on there, and then also on the cuffs. And I looked this up, and this sells for about 30 to 35 So for seven bucks, not a bad investment. So this is gonna be um, for sale on eBay in the Bluebird's Nest store. So we got that. The next thing is, again for me, um, this is just a vintage little Jacqueline Smith, like the Kmart Jacqueline Smith, um, little robe, but it's so cute. Look, it has these little rosebuds on the sleeves. It's just like a little cropped sleeve, satiny, um, cottage core vibes, rose robe, rose robe. Um, this is a size large. This was um, $6.99, so I'm going to keep this. And for resale, though, it was a Chico's Day. So I picked this up for $5.99, and this is um, a Chico's large, extra large. This is like a um, kind of like a, a kimono top. Like you can... Um, you could wear it like over a tank top with jeans or you could wear it as like a beach cover up. It's just a short sleeve, flowy, um, long kind of item. And it has a little, um, I don't know if you can see this. It has like the little gathering in the back. So it has a little bit of a stretch to that. So it's not just so overflowing. It can yeah. kind of like cinch in just yeah. slightly. So um, this will be for sale in the eBay store. Um, let's see. This was another thing I got for myself. Oh, you can hear my dogs barking and fighting in the hallway. They just fight all day and they love each other, but they just are always <sighs> pork chop. Hush. Pork chop. Yes, his name is pork chop. <laughs> and he is so yappy. And I'm always having to scold him because he's just barking all day. Okay, so this was a dress I picked up for myself. And this is just one of those fast fashion. There's no brand to it. Somebody probably bought it from like a Facebook ad. It's an extra large and this was $6.99. And I just thought that this would be pretty in the spring and summer. If I can ever get a self tan to stick to my body, I have the worst problems with self tanner. It just never wants to stay on me. So I actually put it on today and I'm just as white as a ghost, but we're going to give it another shot. I'm going to sleep in it and we're going to see how it goes. But this is just a pretty flowy little dress for around the farm or whatever. I just felt like it was very farmy. Okay. 
I have a farm. <laughs> so I feel like I haven't really done like a big introduction video. My husband and I, we have two little boys. He is a firefighter. Um, I'm a stay at home mom. I homeschool. I am an eBay reseller. I own a baking business. So I do cakes for people and um, catering. Um, I do parties and stuff. Uh, we have chickens, we have ducks, we have dogs that fight in the hallway. Um, their names are Iggy and Porkchop. Um, we just do all the things. We're in the middle of a basketball tournament right now for my oldest. Um, so yeah, so anyway, continuing with the haul, that's a little bit about us. Um, the last thing, well, it's not the last thing, but it's one of the things one of the many things I just got for myself. I was just on a shopping spree for myself, apparently. But this is, let me see if I can hold this up, a little J. Jill dress. It's like a, kind of like a sweatshirt material on the top. And then this cute little like checkered bottom. And the tan tags were half off. So they thought they were going to soak me for 16 bucks, But it was only eight. Um, and this is a size large. I should do like a try on haul for these two. Maybe I'll do that in the next video, like style these thrift store uh, pieces and show you how I would put them together. Um, not that I am any fashion authority, but just how I, I'll just show you how I do it. Okay. And you can either like it or love it. Um, so this was, yeah, so eight bucks for this size large. I toyed with the idea of putting this on eBay, but I think I'm really going to have to keep this. Um, this, Next thing is really tough for me to let go of. I got it with eBay in mind, but I really love cats. That's one thing about me. Like I'm a cat person. I can't have any cats in my house because of the cooking and the baking that I do. And cats are just kind of all over the place, but I love them. And we have um, barn kitties. But this, I mean, look at it. Look, it's a cat in a scarf. And then there's like ice skating cats on the bottom. Oh, look, I mean, how can I really sell that? And it was only, it was only $11. My husband's going to be like, this is why we don't make any money with eBay because you keep everything. But this is like, I mean, it's a cat. I love it. Okay. So that's, that could be on eBay that may or may not be. All right. Um, last thing that is definitely for me is this old Navy dress. This is an extra large. Um, it has like the smocking in the back. So it's stretchy, um, like a little three quarter peasant sleeve. And I just thought this was cute. I don't know. It might be too short. If it's too short, I'm going to put it on eBay because I'm 39. I don't need to be wearing anything that's like thigh high. So we will see if it's too short and my legs are looking too exposed, we'll sell it. Um, I love the hard goods section or like the bric-a-brac section of the thrift store. And I definitely picked up some stuff for myself there. So I, another fun fact about me is that I love all things British. I love it. I have really never been out of the country other than Canada. And then I actually did go to London. Um, I was dating somebody at the time that lived there. And um, obviously it didn't work out, but he was a wonderful person. And I love the experience that I got to have of going to London. I mean, I watched like all these British shows and... Um, like all of my favorite celebrity chefs are British. So I just love all things British. Uh, I think they call that like what an Anglophile or something. I don't know. I'll have to look it up. I'm probably calling myself something perverse, but I just all that to say, <laughs> I love their British culture and dishes and pottery, pork chop. You're not coming in right now. You have to wait. Um, so without further ado, I pick up these egg cups and they say egg cup so there's no mistaking and they were four for 4.99 and they are great british classics jamie oliver royal worcester um so 
I looked these up and I couldn't find them anywhere. So they must be worth like a million dollars and I'm going to definitely have to keep these because how precious are these? Like if I'm doing a recipe and I like put the eggs in them, I don't really like soft boiled eggs and I know that that's kind of the purpose of an egg cup, but I will find a use for them because they're Jamie Oliver and I love him and they're Royal Worcester and I just can't let them go. All right. So the other thing that I got, it was like an egg day. So the other thing I got, what I literally just looked at my phone because I thought that I forgot to press record. <laughs> so we're good. We're recording. Um, I got this beautiful egg holder. Look at that. It holds one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, there are 15 eggs. I could have just multiplied. I shouldn't be homeschooling anyone. It holds 15 eggs and my chickens are finally laying again. So all of these high prices at the grocery store, they just like aren't affecting me. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, this was so cute to me. $7.99 for this egg holder ceramic. And this is going to look so cute on my countertops and all my eggs are different colors. We have all kinds of different chickens and some of the eggs are brown and white, but there's also like blue. We have an olive egger. So we get these beautiful like olive green eggs and um, we have a couple of black copper marins. There's all these different kinds of chickens and the black copper marins, their eggs are like maroon. So it's just going to be beautiful. And I will show you an update with all of the farm fresh eggs in here too. And then the very last thing, which is my favorite, um, is we, we went to a different thrift store today and picked it up, but we only had like 20 minutes in there because they were closing. Um, but I do have to show you because it's just spectacular and I do have to keep it. So I know I said I'm a reseller and I do sell things, but all of these things basically I'm keeping. So let me grab it. My messy bedroom. Okay. Look at this. I mean, this is so pretty, right? So it's like, it looks kind of orange here, but this is actually pink on the bottom. And I just love like the, almost looks like a shell. I don't know what you call that, fluted? I don't know. Um, <clears throat> but it's like a trifle bowl. And I love um, to make trifles. So, or like um, parfaits, I guess you would think of it as. So you could do one with like brownies that you cut up into squares and chocolate pudding and whipped cream and chocolate chips and do that in like layers. I make like a lemon raspberry one. Um, what else do we do? I mean, the, the possibilities are really endless. I mean, cake, kind of like a pudding or a sauce, cream, fruit in any number of combinations, but it's just so pretty. I have a trifle bowl, but not like this. I mean, this is like the trifle bowl. So that is all for today. That's my haul. And I hope that you uh, could understand what I was saying. It was kind of hectic. But I hope you enjoyed this haul. And I hope that you'll come back and tune into future videos. And have a great night. Thanks, guys. Bye.